Hi, I'm Michelle Wright, and I have been coming to Westridge on and off for several years. We're from Ohio, and down here we're just a small family unit. It's my husband, our granddaughter, Whitney, and um, also we have our son, Jared. With all of our family being up in Ohio, um, I felt really, really isolated. I worked from home full time. Um, I took care of my family, and it just got to the point that I didn't really have anything else in my life besides just the day-to-day -day grind. And I felt I was really missing out on something. My granddaughter, well, she's in high school now, started yesterday, but when she was in middle school, she attended Revolution here. One Wednesday, she said to me, you know, Grandma, there's a place for you there, too. And I said, what do you mean? And she said, they have groups of people that you can attend with, and it's not just the Sunday service. You can be together with a small group. Why don't you give it a try? I was like, well, I don't have enough time in my day. You know, I had excuses, but I felt like there was something out there that I was not tapping into that would have furthered my walk with Jesus. I wanted to learn more about the Bible. Um, I considered myself like a baby Christian because I never grew in my faith. I came to the group launch, and before I ever got in the doors, I was nervous. When I got inside the doors and I met some of the ladies, everyone was very welcoming. My nerves went away, and I started group two weeks later. I didn't have to join in, I didn't have to share, but if I felt like I wanted to, that basically there's nothing that they hadn't heard before, and I felt like I was not alone, I felt like it was a good fit, that it, I was exactly where I was supposed to be at that moment. And my life, I just, things were getting real hectic. My son has had addiction problems for years and years. Um, and I'm very thankful that he is with us, but I thought I was preparing for him no longer being on the earth. And that would shatter anyone. He's, he's our only child. I'm thankful to say that my son is doing much better. But I was diagnosed on January 31st of this year with uh, throat cancer. So I went through seven weeks of radiation and during the same time, I had chemotherapy, which was three sessions. I've been praying all this time for God's will because I believe it was God's will that got me going to church and getting prepared to be strong. Little did I know, in these few months, I've been fighting for my life. When I went to group on Sunday, once I told them, other people shared about their experience or their their husband had this type of cancer, or their mother had it. And hearing these ladies share, and them encouraging me and telling me, Michelle, it's gonna be all right. It's God's will. Uh, we're going to help you be strong. We're gonna pray for you all the time. And if there's anything you need, we are gonna be there for you. We are going to lift you up. And I'm so thankful that I can be open with them and then they just totally open up their hearts and share life experience that they've lived through. And it encourages me because I see that strong person sitting there. And if they can do it, I can do it. They're now my family, my friends, and I consider them sisters. And I wouldn't have had that without Westridge. And now that I'm doing a walk with God, life is so much richer for me. And one thing I always remember that Pastor Brian tells us all the time, that at Westridge, we're all trying to become a devoted follower of Jesus. And I decided I wanted that for myself too.